Ma'am, how is IMSI different from TISA? IMSI means intracytoplasmic selection, injection of morphologically selected sperm. Okay, so here this is uh, just a kind of evaluation where we visualize the sperm under a very powerful microscope. As compared to other microscopes, this has a magnification of up to 6000 X. So it can look at the details of the sperm very clearly. So we see whether the sperm has a normal shape, if it's of a normal size, if it is moving well, if there are any defects in its head or tail piece. And we select the most normal looking sperm and we use this sperm to inject into the cytoplasm of the egg directly. The, it is very similar to a process known as ICSI but in ICSI uh, that is intracytoplasmic sperm injection we just use any sperm so it need not be uh, selected you know as detailedly as this but here uh, we see the sperm structure in a very obvious manner and select the best sperm to inject. So this uh, in turn improves the chances of success. So this is generally done in people who have had repeated IVF failures so it kind of helps in them then in people who have uh, azospermia or uh, very low uh, sperm, sperm counts, counts who have difficulty in the sperm uh, in uh, the uh, sperm sample and apart from that it can also be done in people who are suffering from repeated abortions so we don't know uh, why these abortions are happening so usually we don't evaluate the sperm as well as in a female so then here we can select IMSI selected sperms uh, you know to get a good outcome as compared to this TISA or testicular sperm aspiration is a technique of surgical sperm retrieval so here what we do is we use certain surgical techniques to retrieve the sperm from the testis of the male so this happens when the semen sample does not contain any sperms so the semen may be there but there are no sperms in such people this is because of an obstruction in the path of the sperms so this obstruction may be due to so many reasons it may be due to infection it may be due to some radiation it may be due to surgery so in these cup in these men uh, they are unable to uh, produce sperm to fertilize the egg and thereby result in a pregnancy so this uh, these people cannot naturally um, help a woman conceive so the only option for these is for us to retrieve the sperm surgically so we use a small needle with a syringe and we aspirate it like we suck out the sperm from the testis so this is known as testicular aspiration if this does not uh, you know produce any sperm then what we do is we take a small biopsy like we make a small cut on the testis and we try and take a small amount of tissue from there and send this tissue for you know biopsy for examination to check if there are and presence of sperms in that. So these sperms can be stored and later utilized for fertilization. <laughs>